Hi ladies and gentlemen, do you aware that wind speed monitoring can be important in our daily life? In year 2018, there are more than 50 serious cases of wind include incidents reported in the peninsular Malaysia. This has caused losses and damage no matter for private or public properties. In Taiwan, strong winds are one of the main cause of wind turbine collapsion. When wind turbine operates in strong wind, it will have chance to get mechanical damage and accidents may occur. Monitoring wind speed will help to reduce the chances of the accidents. The objective of this project is to make wind speed prediction based on other meteorological data through linear regression model and to implement low-power microcontrollers such as ESP32 as edge device to run a linear regression model. Besides that, this project is also aimed to analyze the ability of linear regression model to predict wind speed based on surrounding meteorological data. Maybe you will wonder what is a linear regression model. I will explain it later. Okay, so here it comes the first question. What are the other meteorological data that may help us to monitor wind speed? There are some studies shows that wind speed will increase with the increase of temperature and a fast wind speed will result in low air humidity. The relationship between the data will help us to monitor wind speed. With the proportional relationship between wind speed, temperature and humidity, we can use a linear regression model to make now casting prediction of wind speed based on temperature and air humidity. A linear regression model is an algorithm of machine learning and machine learning is a type of artificial intelligence technology that allows computers to learn from data. The linear regression model will perform regression tasks to find out the linear relationship between output and input of the model like we finding the best fit line for a plot diagram. Taking an example, output y and input x. The most simple relationship between input and output can be represented by equation y equals to mx plus c where c is the y-intercept or value of y when x equals to 0 and m is the gradient of the best fit. In this project, multiple linear regression models will be used. It's a type of linear regression model consists of more than one inputs. Wind speed will be the output while temperature and humidity will be the inputs of the model. The best fit of the 3D plot diagram will be a plan and can be represented by the equation on right side of this slide. Beta 0 and beta 1 will be the gradient that indicates the change of wind speed according to change in temperature and humidity. Beta 2 will be the value of wind speed when temperature and humidity is 0. However, applying artificial intelligence can be expensive if we do it using computers. This project will show the possibility of tiny ML, a segment of machine learning born with the desire of people seeking for small devices with high capability. Yes, machine learning models that seem complicated can be run on small and low power devices such as the ESP32 microcontroller. And most importantly, it is low cost. With TinyML, data is processed of microcontroller and making it much faster and low latency compared to uploading data to the internet server. So how can we do TinyML? As I said just now, machine learning allows computer to learn from data. So, to apply the machine learning model, we need to train it with a dataset consists of reading of temperature, humidity, and resulting wind speed. The model will be trained in a Python programming environment to find out the relationship between output and the inputs. Then, the model will be converted into C array file and be deployed on the ESP32 microcontroller. After the linear regression model has been deployed on ESP32, the microcontroller will be able to make wind speed prediction based on temperature and humidity readings from the DHT22 sensor and display it on the LCD screen as shown as in the video. In conclusion, there was a proportional relationship exists between wind speed, temperature and humidity. So I truly believe that the multiple linear regression model can be applied for wind speed now casting prediction based on the relationship. Future scope of this project including increasing the size of the training dataset so a better best fit can be found by the model for more accurate predictions and evaluation on the linear regression model accuracy will be also done in future. That's all from me. Thanks for listening.